let's set this thing up. Instructions, I guess. Spread the fur and sponge strips evenly. Tuck the sponge strip along the police what? perimeter of the fur. Fold the mattress into the shape shown. Installation is complete. Okay, so you have to put it in curled like that. That's a strap thing. This is the cover. Top of tape. This is the mattress, I think. That's the bottom. Oh wait. Oh, that's the blanket. This is the cover. And more instructions, why they give it twice. And this thing. This is the outer piece. How do you get this out? What? They just taped it all up in here. I don't know, I'm gonna get this out. Okay, there's a area of tape I can rip. I guess I'm gonna have to use scissors. And be careful not to cut it up. Lots of tape. Here. Jeez, how do you get this thing apart? Do I just need to poke a hole here where there's a gap and try not make sure I don't stab it? Theme. Jeez. They pack this. There's no way you can repack this, I don't think. Once you open this, it's over. I guess if you slowly untape the bag, you can somehow, these scissors suck, but if you slowly untape the bag and found the ends, then you can <clears throat> do it, but yeah, nope, I'm going to have to use scissors the whole way. These scissors are too dull now. Give me a second, I need two hands. Cut it up on one side. Let's see if it will... Oh, I think I need to cut all of this open. So that came off, and it's actually in another plastic bag here with some tape. So it's actually inflating now as I undo this. Okay, this is all twisted. Just hold it in. Oh, uh, it's expanding! It's growing! thing out. Interesting. So it's 
it's filled with this like crumbly material stuff. Hmm. I thought it was gonna be like soft and smushy, but this is like hard packed. It feels almost like the if you've ever had like a guinea pig or a bunny. It feels like that kind of stuff inside. Like that, the bedding, the floor bedding stuff, which is basically crumbled paper. So I'm gonna shake this all out to fluff it up. All right, so there's that. We gotta get this stuff out now. So, same idea. This doesn't look like it's vacuum packed, so, but it is held in with tape, so I need two hands to cut this. All right, here we go. Cover. Huh, what is this baggie for? Interesting. I don't know what, is this to put the mattress in? I don't know, maybe. Okay. And there's a blankie here. I need two hands to cut this. Alright, that. Take that out. Here's the blankie. Nice and soft. The inside is not squishy, it's like a netting material so it's not like a fluffy but the material here is soft but inside is like thin like a that net There's that and this and then we got this mattress so I'm gonna need two hands to cut this all out okay so this comes all folded like this and it's inflating now but you just cut that and yeah I can hear the air being sucked into it we're gonna have to <laughs> unfold oh there's still some tape there and then we have to cut it open so it can expand so I need two hands for this okay it's rising look at it growing can I pour it out before it completely expands Alright, there we go. Down here. And it's this egg crate foamy pad. I don't know if this side's supposed to go up or the other side, but yeah, now I need to assemble this. Alright, so first we have that there. Sorry for all the noise outside. There are people doing gardening. Um, and then you have this. You have to line it around. We're gonna unzip it and tuck this into the outer edge. Okay, first thing you gotta do is find the zippers here. So on this longer side, there's, you can find where this ends and then this has a zipper underneath here. So we're gonna have to open that. This is actually two parts, a zipper for the outer perimeter. And then on this side, there's another zipper somewhere. I'll have to find that once we get this fluff thing in, but basically I'm gonna unzip the whole thing now. All right, so we got the whole thing unzipped, and where the zipper ends, you actually do have like a pass-through here, but I think to be safe, I'm gonna make the ends of the thing go in there um, because you can see there's this staple, so I don't wanna risk like shoving and passing it all the way through there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in there. All right, so there it is all in. We did kind of flop this over. We're just gonna zip it up now. Also, if you've ever worked with zippers where they get like caught on this stuff, it helps to kind of get one finger under the back part and one finger here. So when you zip it, it will keep all this other stuff out of the way. So I hold it like this. I don't actually pull this tab. I hold it over here and I pull this way. But I need two hands to do it, so I'll be back. All right, and there it is all zipped together. We're gonna fluff it up and then we're gonna get this foam in. It did come with this, which uh, I believe this is a waterproof kind of outer casing that we're gonna put on this. And I'm pretty sure you want this egg foam egg crate part face up so it can help with relieving pressure. So let's go ahead and get that in. All right, so that goes on like this and it slides all the way up here. So let's get that on. All right, so the way you get this on, you pull this and then you flip it over, go to the other side and then pull this, and you just keep rotating it like that until you get the whole thing on. 
All right, and there it is with the cover on. Now we just got to shove that in. All right. All right, so on this for the mattress, they actually only make it go about half my, I guess a third of the way. And I'm assuming that's because it's cheaper. So we're just gonna have to shove that in. Again, part of this is that egg crate texture. So we're gonna have that face up. So when we install it, it's actually facing down because this is the bottom. All right, so yeah, we just gotta kind of roll it in and then shove it into the pocket here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I think basically what you have to do is you have to fold it in half like this and then we're going to try and push it in. If it doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to roll it to like a burrito. Alright, so fold it in half for the most part seemed to have work. Um, it's not all the way in, but we'll try and push it and then just fold it, uh, open it out. Alright, so it's like this. I zipped it part way. I'm going to push it in and then zip it the rest of the way and then we'll flip it over and then worry about trying to fold it back flat. All right, there it is all the way zipped inside. We're gonna flip it over and then see if I can flatten it out. Okay, so I haven't flattened it out yet, but this is what it looks like, and let's see. All right, so to flatten it out, basically what you do is you grab the outer edge, and then you push that down while you're doing that, but I need two hands, so that's pretty much it though. All right, and here it is. He's in it, and I can lay here. Your head has a nice pillow. And yeah, plenty of room to lay sideways, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so it came with this strap. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but oh, let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, so this does have pockets here and a bigger pocket here, but I don't see how you would attach the strap. I wonder if they're expecting you just wrap it around the top and then pull it. <laughs> let me see. Like, are they expecting you to just put it on like this and then just... Use that. I mean, it, you can drag it that way, but that seems like they just threw it in there. So it does have a strap here or a handle, so you can kind of drag it around. But I don't know why they included this. What is this for? Is that so you can fold it in half and then strap it together so it's like smaller? I don't know. Okay, so apparently it has a handle on both sides, and I think this strap is so you can wrap. The thing in half, fold it in half, and then tighten it together so you can shrink it and carry it all as one thing. Alright, so wrapped it like that, and now you can carry it with one hand. Nice. That's probably what it's for.